Montreal. Um, we're here building IKEA furniture for homeless teens, and they're gonna live in these apartments, and we're helping out building furniture. How's that making you feel today? Really, really good. It's good to give to give back to our community and help them and provide them with things that they wouldn't have on a daily basis, and to help out people who like own this shelter so they don't have to build it all themselves. We're actually at 70, 75th in Washington. Uh, we're starting to build our first complex of, a, of 14 units that will be used for kids that actually age out of foster care, uh, giving them a place to stay from when they're 18 to 24. Uh, we ended up becoming part of this project through our neighbors that actually run Project Change and partnered with Restart. And then the Will to Succeed became part of it on the back end to sort of help furnish some of the apartments here and to get the project, you know, the finishing touches. The uh, timeline of the project has been about, I believe it's about a year and a half to two years to get it all up and running. Um, basically, monetary time is about 2.2 million that was put into the project to get it up and running, which was cool because it's basically the first one that's done from the ground up. It's not retrofitted, it's not buying a building and then putting it together, it's actually from the ground up. Um, and what we're going to have here is 14 units that will have uh, single units for teens, so there will be 14 people that live here. Uh, we'll have at the front of the building there, we'll have somebody there to actually monitor if they need help or what have you because, you know, they are aging out of foster care, so they're used to being in group settings, some having multiple different siblings of different people living in the same place, but for them to have their own place will be a little different. Uh, but it's actually just to give them opportunity to sort of start finding who they are between the ages of 18 and 24 and then from that point they'll have you know hopefully they'll get degrees and jobs and different things of that nature you know the coolest thing about this project is that i think it's one of the first ever where you actually have kids that have a opportunity to live on their own uh to learn you know little things of life lessons without having the complications of really having to live with someone else and to, you know, abide by other things. It gives them an opportunity to find out what they are as individuals.